All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All the Mods 8. Guys, today we are... Um... Oh, I forgot to plan today's episode. Nah, I'm just teasing. We're doing Mechanism today. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and obviously get into Mechanism. So, that's pretty neat. Uh, we do have a bit of Mechanism stuff here. Uh, we ended up getting an Avanch Energy Cube, which has 6.4 million FE per tick, which is pretty good uh, for Mechanism, but we're way better than that. Uh, we're going to make a couple of Metallurgic Infusers. Uh, I do have one upgrade to the Elite Tier. Uh, and then a couple of the ultimate universal cables but essentially we have almost unlimited power i mean one million fe per tick like very few things produce as much power if you guys know what else produces that much power let me know i'd love to make them yeah we're gonna make it and what am i what am i thinking brain please you have to go to the mechanism tab where are you mechanism did i miss it There's that. Ah, I did miss it. Perfect. Okay. A metallurgic infuser. Jeez, Louise, I could not think of that. Sorry. Uh, metallurgic. <coughs> All right. It had two L's. Metallurgic infuser. Um, let's see. In mechanism. How many of these do we have? I'm going to make one of these for each. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty simple. All right. And so we are going to have a different mechanism thing for each of these processes. Um, so we have six if we go all the way along here. But I think I'm actually going to put the mechanism stuff on this wall here. We're not going to... I don't know how far we're going to take mechanism today. I do want to set up the processing for it because we need to start exporting our um, our raw ores. Um, yeah, raw iron and our raw gold so that we can process it. Uh, so we need to kind of advance these metallurgic infusers up. So let's grab... We have a couple of these actually on us. So let's have a look. Um, but yeah, this is our bulk processing room. We gotta make it look look nice because there will be a world download eventually for you guys to check out um, and see how the world is. The world though. So let's see. Um, we'll go up here. Let's see. So that's we're gonna have a beam going across. The roof's gonna be kind of a dome shape. Um, so yeah, if we are like this. Yeah, it's going to kind of dome-ish. Um, we want these guys here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and we will process the stuff here. Um, wait, no, we want this one more lower because mechanism, I don't think there's any cover for the things. Any cover for the pipes um, so yeah we'll have to put those on along the top is gonna be power we're gonna have some along the bottom but we do have some blocks that will work like these framed boards uh, they actually work extremely well for covering things and not looking terrible so we're gonna grab Think, I think we should just go ahead and put those guys on it, even though we don't have a lot. And I think I have another flux point. I've got a couple. Cool. All right, so those are here. We're just going to put this guy. Oof. I wish there was a center. Uh, we'll have to put it on the right hand side this is getting power so now all of these guys have really really good power um, is there a mechanism block that allows you to put things on it like that I don't know it's tricky so these are gonna be we're gonna have the export stuff down here 
Um, yeah, I think we should have those going into our ME system. But, yes. Might not be have been the most efficient way to process it, but again, those are all going to be automated soon. We'll have one for carbon, redstone, diamond, obsidian, gold, and tin. Everything we need. Uh, we should just all the enriched things. Okay, so we need to fill one up with redstone, and we've got a lot of it, but I want to use an enriching chamber. Enrichment chamber. And so we're probably going to need a few of these guys, which means we need a few of these guys. We need to make some steel. Um, we, have a, we have a really good supply of iron, but just not as good as we can, you know? That's really what we want. Okay, so you're going to be the carbon. Good, now you process that. Very good. Get some tin going, and I believe, yeah. Oh, that might be too much. No, that's good. That's really good. Remember guys, too much power is not quite enough. That is the mojo of our go hope thing. I don't know what I'm saying. Don't listen to me. Cool beans. So we have four stacks of those. And so as soon as our system brings those in, we'll now have four stacks of steel. Very cool. Okay. So that is super duper easy. Now we can go ahead and then make an enrichment chamber. Oh, we got to make some of these actually. Osmium seeds. Yeah, we're going to need some osmium seeds. That's going to be important. But now we should have quite a few of these. Um, yeah, so the enrichment chamber is a fantastic thing. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and put that here. Um, I'm just going to put a, a flux point on it. All right, it's got a crazy amount of power. Grab some redstone throw it in there nice very good so now we're doing that we're gonna grab some iron and we're gonna go back down here to our processing area and in this one we'll throw that in and we will throw the iron in good so we're producing quite a few of these um, we may actually, because redstone, because there's so much redstone, we might make two of them. Hmm. One specifically for these guys, the infused alloys, and one that uses osmium to give us, what you would call it, um, the control basic circuit board. So see, redstone plus osmium gives us the basic control circuit. So we may just add one more in over here, which will let us center it. It's good. Yes, we want that. Okay. Actually, that can go back in there. We need some, I don't know how much osmium we actually have. Um, we have a fair amount. I'm gonna need to make some osmium seeds here real soon. Okay, so we've got a pretty good amount of the basic control circuits, the infused alloys, so we should be able to kind of go through the tiers. Um, I just realized we're gonna need to grab these guys and upgrade them. Like so. Um, let's see here, we need all of these things, except for you. Okay, <clears throat> so temporarily we're going to need to hold on to them until we upgrade them. So, uses, boom, this is what we, okay, so now all of these have been upgraded. From now on, we're going to upgrade them with the upgrade cards. Uh, yeah, our base, oh man, our, our base, we need to do, upgrade that. Um, right here.
cool. So now these guys have three slots, can hold even more of these. Oh, wow. Okay. That's interesting how that worked. Uh, you can sort them, so now it's even more well dispersed. That's not even the one. So yeah, now we can really process up some of those guys, which is awesome. So now we just kind of move on. Um, put these guys in here. We'll get rid of these guys for now. Okay, so um, let's pull up mechanism again. Okay. So we're fine up city. We're not gonna get there. We're gonna get into the enriched diamonds, which where is our, oh, it's right here. Okay, we have that. So enriched diamonds, we're gonna put those in here. We're gonna blast it with a little bit of speed. There we go. And there are these upgrade things here. I believe we could have just made this for our other systems, but now we can do three at a time and sort it like so. So now it's really quick. Look at that. That's amazing. <laughs> Look at that go. Holy cow. That's three stacks of redstone processed up. That's gnarly quick. Okay. So the enriched diamonds, we got those. Um, carbon, yeah, we can do that too with coal. No problem. Yeah, we've used up over 10 hours of saved up time. All right, there's our carbon, amazing. And then to get the enriched obsidian, we're gonna need refined obsidian dust, which we get from combining diamond and obsidian dust together. Uh, and this can be made in the enrichment chamber. So obsidian, we should have quite a bit of that. Yep, we sure do. Put that guy in here. There we go. We have four sack stacks of obsidian. Um, I think that was from one stack of obsidian itself. All right. So if we're going to do two for redstone, um, so this needs to be carbon, redstone, redstone. Um, I want to do it the order it's in. So carbon, redstone, diamond. Carbon, redstone, redstone, diamond, obsidian. So this is gonna be the obsidian one. This is gonna be the diamond one. So we're gonna throw these here. Nice. Cool, okay. So all of those are now the refined obsidian. And then we just make the, put them in the enrichment chamber. So very cool. Let's get these guys out of here. All right. And then you guys should go like this. Yes, enriched obsidian. Let's go. All right. That's sweet. Cool. So all of that's been now made the enriched obsidian. Again, we are at the end of the game here. So or not really the end of the game, but we're in the end game. Uh, we have a stupid amount of resources at our disposal. If you're starting mechanism earlier in the game, it's not gonna be as easy for you. I'm sorry, that's just how things work. Uh, I'm gonna grab some diamonds too. Yes. So here we go. Carbon, fill it all the way up. There you go. Redstone, I'm gonna put 32 here, 32 here. Diamond here, we'll fill it up and boom. And then obsidian's good. And then the other two, which are golden tin, which we won't be utilizing very often at all. Um, we'll set up a whole system with our ME stuff to, to process that up. But yeah, we're doing really good. So let's make some of these guys. Um, that was not something we should have done. Yes, that was not a good idea. Um, I probably need to make some osmium seeds here real quick. And I'm processing osmium. So that's 
It's all connected, I promise. Okay, so we have a couple more of these. We can make the tier two upgrades. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I just used osmium to do that. Okay, um, yeah, let's get a hammer. All right, so we got a decent amount of osmium and I'm gonna make some osmium seeds. I think we should make a total of three of them. Uh, I don't think we need more than that. Just three osmium seeds. Uh, so let's see. These guys, and they are tier four. Cool, I'll make those real quick. All right, so we'll just throw these guys in right here and then We will see where this essence goes. Oh boy. We're using too much power. So they're still getting some, but now there should be osmium at least in, nope, none of these. Here maybe? Ah, here's the osmium, cool. So click it, uses, set it to export, and we're solid. There we go. Yeah, those are charging up. We're growing seeds. We're rocking and rolling. Going to do a little bit of AFKing here, and we will be back soon once we have more Osmium. Alrighty, so some time has passed, and we have quite a few Osmium now. Yes, 430. It's nothing too crazy to write home about, but it's something, and we can AFK, and it'll be good. So, yeah, we're going to throw these in hey there we just use both of them for now because we can and they're done cool beans and sword on cool beans all right oh there's a cat tickle in my leg sorry um what do you have anything good huh huh yep nothing really good <coughs> diet potato okay so now that we have some more of these we can upgrade them to the next day Oh my gosh, we do have capturing on here and we just got a spawn egg for a wandering trader. I didn't even know that was a thing. All right. We will find the upgrade. What is that? Oh, configuration card, sorry, I got distracted. Cool, so we got this, we got this guy here. Uh, I'm gonna make half a stack of these. Good. Actually, I want to make, whoops, that was a little bit more. So 48, 32, and 16. So I want to make, um, well, we, we actually get to do something cool. We get to make the, ooh, we need to make more of those. Um, get to make the next tier alloys. So... <laughs> Let's throw these in. And they're done before you know it. Crazy folks. Cool beans. Okay, so throw these bad boys in here. And we give them some speed. Good, good, all right. And then we'll throw three of them in here. We'll give them speed. We're down to 20 hours, so oh, geez. All right, so these are done. Amazing. I wanna throw in one more stack. There we go, good. Speed. All right, and speed is done. That is the advanced al or atomic alloy. We've completed it. We are geniuses somehow. Okay, so back to mechanism. Good. Need to make a couple more of these. We'll throw those in there. Um, yeah. We'll make a total of six of those. 
And then uses, we need to make some of these guys. There they are. Oh. And we need to make a total of 32 of these. Well, no, I think it's actually 48. Yep, there we go. Get rid of those. And I want to make 16 of, oh, nope, it's not like this, it's like this. Okay, so now we should be able to make a total of seven of these and seven of these. Good. I put those back in here on accident, cool. So let's go ahead and upgrade the guys. Whoops, too many. I keep doing that. Too many of them. Okay, so bing, 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 bing. And then blue, 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 blue. And then purple, 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 purple. Good. So now if we look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different things to be processed. Yeah, that's crazy good. So we're going to need that later on. We also need to make the smelting factories now. How many of these can we... Oh, one more. Wow, okay. All right, so yeah, we need to make the smelting factories now. Nope, oh, that's a purple. Energized smelter. One, two, and three. All right. Good. Okay, so I definitely need to make some more alloy. <clears throat> Let me get quite a few more of these made up. I'm making them up. They're not real, I promise. Oh my word. Look at that go! That's crazy. <laughs> All right, so some time has passed. I went ahead and added a second, or sorry, a seventh. Uh, ultimate infusing factory. So we're gonna put some M e import buses on the bottom here. And we're gonna put some ME pattern providers on the back. And we will link those up like so. And link these up. Uh, let's see, so these support eight channels each. So one, two, three. Okay, so we're gonna need to come up on two sides. Yeah, so that, yeah, eight device online, missing channel. But if I do this, will it give it more? Is it smart enough to do that? 10 online on missing channel here. That's not good. Okay, so we'll do of these network booting device online 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 i think we'll do something like this online online so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven perfect okay so each of those should be okay and then we'll put some covers on the front but these guys are ready to rock uh we do need to set this up so that it's input from the back and then on the bottom it's output and the rest of these can be off um we also need to set the items config to be eject so i'll do that real quick okay so these have been all configured to the back being input and the bottom being output very cool looks pretty nifty if i do say so myself uh we may end up changing this up a little bit to kind of conform and look a little bit better with these but those guys are online and ready to work so let's test them out actually we got to make some patterns for them first processing pattern here um hmm. let's see one of these guys uh here Hmm. Because I have an idea. I have an idea. We have we have one of these. So 
if we set it up so that it tries to put one in every time, it should only be allowed to put the iron in and it should theoretically work. Um, let's try it out. So second here, shebang, okay. And we don't have the redstone things uh, generate are automated yet. So we'll need to set up some of these uh, enriching factories, very similar to how we set up those processing uh, things there. But let's see, we should be able to craft up some alloys here. It'll click, let's say half a stack. Now these things are pretty slow because they don't have any upgrades yet. Hmm, is it missing a channel now? No, nope, devices are online. Is it already done? Do we need to make more? not working okay okay so i got it to craft but we can't give it the redstone thing here so we're gonna have to find a way now if i do believe if we set this to purple and we remove Pretty sure, yes, you can. Okay, so we do have an extra slot here. Good, 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 okay. Um, oh, okay, this has become a lot more advanced. Okay, so this is what we've got here. Um, now we set this up. Um, these, I didn't set. Oh my, okay. So that needs to be input and output out the back. I guess I missed a couple of these. So we want input and output to be the back uh, and eject on. Uh, sorry, I thought I had done this already. It's vital for how we have this set up. Let me just double check. Yep, that one's good. Okay, so these are all set up and we have exporters down here. So we need to configure these guys to be the extra slot, which as you can see is the yellow part. Um, and the reason we have exporters there is because there is something cool called the crafting card. Um, and if an item, say we're trying to export carbon here, but if we don't have any in our system, but we have an auto crafting recipe, it should automatically craft it in this enrichment chamber here, which has the recipe set up. So that is our theory that we are gonna try out. So we're gonna export it like this, theoretically. The theoretically, Trying to export carbon. Hmm.
Okay, there it is. It just took freaking forever. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll try again. Because maybe I'm not very confident that that's working or not. Oh, it needed, we need crafting. Oh, I see. I was making two different recipes. Okay, so it didn't have a crafting channel. And by the way, I did add these up here. But we're gonna add a bunch more. I wanna make, can I make 10 of these? Oh. That's right, I don't think I can make any more. Hmm, well, hmm. Can I take these? Nope, those are always going to be ME drives. Okay. Darn. Okay, so it needs an available crafting CPU to do it. That makes sense. So now, if we go here, this is diamond. If we do this, this should kick on. This doesn't have any accelerations. There it is. Yes, okay. It just takes it a second with the crafting cards. Okay. That is perfectly fine. Uh, yes. And then these two are going to be redstone. So over time, these are just going to fill up and will automatically resupply. But that's how you do it with Applied Energistics 2. We're gonna have to connect up all of these guys here shortly. I believe I can actually do that now, um, which is gonna help a lot. There we go. That should be connected. That should be connected. And again, we're gonna I'm going to add in quite a few more of these around the base. But yeah, those are now all connected, so we should have a decent amount of these guys able to run. Yep, we got a few. So here's tin, gold. That'll go in there soon. Diamond, redstone has not quite gone in yet. That's okay. Just want to make sure all of these are in here. Redstone, redstone. Okay. Cool. Very cool. So, as soon as those are filled, it will stop running, which is awesome. So that's how you automate the mechanism, boys. Um, yeah, it's looking good. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap up the episode for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Today, guys, we automated the metallurgic infusers from Mechanism. It was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Guys, we're trying to hit 20K. Let's do it. We can do it with your help. But anyways, guys, I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out.